Okay, welcome back. Uh, my name is Carl McClarty, McClarty Films. Today I wanted to talk about Chinese learning stuff. I was talking to some friends and we were, we were talking about uh, maintaining your language. So once you learn a language, you don't want to forget it. So something I do every day is I do reading and um, I use a lot of tools to help me. And one of them for um, that I've used for ages, probably more than 10 years, is something called the Playco Chinese Dictionary. It's an app that you can use for your uh, phone, iPad, or Android. And um, I'm just going to share my screen with you here. Here I'm in the uh, Play Store. This is the Playco Chinese Dictionary. There's a free version, and then there's also a professional bundle, which I thought I'd purchased, but I guess I haven't um, updated in a while. So I'm going to open it up here. And the other day I was trying to think, I was talking to a friend and we were talking about the word uh, sure. And I, I remembered that there was a lyric to a song by a hip hop band called Insar in Beijing. Um, and I remembered it was a classical kind of like a Cheng Yu. And it was, and I, I couldn't quite remember the words. All I could remember was sure and hey. And I, I can remember the, the rhythm is dun 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 sure. So I knew that there were three characters before sure, which means red. And um, so you can see here, I just typed in the at symbol. And this is a cool feature I'm not sure if you know about, but if you type in the at symbol, it's like the, um, the character that you can't remember, and then it turns it into a reverse dictionary. So instead of searching for the first um, character in a phrase, because most Chinese um, words are actually combinations, uh, stacked characters, so usually sets of two, and in some case, three or four. So anyways, uh, I knew that it was that, 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 sure. So I typed in the at symbol three times and then searched for sure. And I couldn't, there you go. So, um, and then I just scrolled through the list and there's only like five selections here. So the bottom one was what I was thinking of. And the phrase is jin zhu zhe chi, jin mo zhe hei. And um, it, these are actually lyrics from a rap song. And anyways, it's uh, basically, um, you're, you, you are like the people that you associate with. So you're influenced by your friends, something like that. Uh, keep bad company, you're gonna be a bad dude and, and vice versa. Um, so I just wanna show you another. So for example, it's great. Back, back in the day, there was reverse dictionary. So you had a separate dictionary just for searching the second character of a phrase instead of the first, which is how normal Chinese dictionaries are. So it's great if you want to like learn um, zhu yi is like an ism. So in Chinese, you have like shuhui zhu yi, socialism, or gong chan zhu yi, communism. But there are a lot of zhu yi's in the world. So if you want to learn all of them, um, so I typed in at, at, and then zhu, zhu yi, let's see. Uh, pick it down here, zhu yi. So that's my various isms. Good one, beyond the zhu yi. So if I, now if I type in my at, at symbol, I'm gonna get a list of tons and tons of zhu yi. So here we have, um, ai guo zhu yi, patriotism or nationalism. Um, bao, bao huan zhu yi, uh, environmentalism. Um, da guo zhu yi, great nation chauvinism. Um, di guo zhu yi, imperialism. Um, Yes, Gong Chan Zhu Yi. So you see here, Gong Chan Zhu Yi. Uh, there we go. Um, Guan Men Zhu Yi, Hao Ren Zhu Yi. What is that? Seeking good relations with all and sundry at the expense of principle. Hmm, I don't know what that means. Huan Bao Zhu Yi, environmentalism. So basically, you can search all these different isms and you can learn them. We also did one like we were looking up um, mong, like to be blind. So different types of blindness at um, mong, 
Fan Mang means half blind. Um, Fa Mang, someone that's like ignorant of the law. Mu Mang. Um, this is interesting. Sa Mang as color and then blindness meaning um, color blindness. Um, Wen Mang, this is a good one. Wen Mang means illiterate, someone that can't read. So Wen is a word for character, for word, language, and then Mang is blindness. So word blindness is, and if it were, a, if it was something, a double, oops, a double character and then Mang, you might get some more that weren't on the list before. Dian Nao Mang, computer illiterate. That's a good one. Never heard that. Dian Nao Mang. Uh, that I guess that's someone that can't colorblind with a deficiency in, in seeing green. Um, let's see. Uh, go. So for animals, there are certain animals it's kind of interesting you can use it for. So let's say like go is a dog. Uh, but then in Chinese, you have all kinds of different words that end in a dog. So this is what I was thinking of. High go. So if it's a dog that's in the sea, it is a seal. High go. Um, and then some of these are verbs and mu go, female dog, bitch. Um, Tiengo, I don't know what this is. It's a mythical animal, an animal like a raccoon. Okay. Mm. A jugo, <laughs> a pig dog, uh, intended as an insult. Okay. Okay, and then let's see. Um, Another one that's interesting to use, I remember using the old school reverse dictionary, is like if you want to learn like all the um, like different religions, you can just search at and then jiao. So like uh, an obvious one would be like tian zhu jiao, right? Like tian zhu jiao would be Catholicism. So now if I search at at jiao, I'm going to get all the double words with, with uh, religions. Um, the big one, Ji Du Jiao. So you see, Ji Du Jiao, Christianity. Um, Mormon, Mormon Jiao, Mormonism. So all kinds of, these are also ism, kind of like the Zhu Yi, but this is in the re, relig, religion realm. Um, Indu Jiao, Indu Jiao, Hinduism. Uh, Yu Tai Jiao, Yu Tai Jiao, Judaism. So you can just see like, this is pretty cool because uh, it's a reverse dictionary. So you can learn a lot of words and then you can group your words together. My order is wrong on that. It helps to write Chinese characters to remember them. Um, Isilan and then Chao. All right. So there you go. So that was it. I just wanted to share um, using Playco and that reverse dictionary function because I think it's awesome and hope that was helpful. Let me know if, uh, if you have any Playco tricks. It's, it's updating and it's a awesome software program. And, um, but I just started recently reusing that um, reverse dictionary to come up with phrases or words that I haven't heard in a long time. And also I will try to find the song by Insar um, that uses that Jin Zhu Chi Mo Jie lyric because it's pretty cool. Um, that's all for now. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Peace. 再见啊。